I'm not going to answer that. This isn't an interrogation, it's a farce. No, it'd only be a farce if your trousers fall down. We're trying to help, Luton. How? How is this going to help me? Well, well, it might not help you, but it'll help us. So my motivation would be... Um, Vimes? Damn it, Nobby. He's not supposed to know I'm in the room. What do you want? What does he have to gain from helping us? Oh, just forget it. We'll just send him to the patrician for trial and get back to this damn serial killer case without Luton's help. But first you fess up to what you've done. That's enough, Detritus. Sir? You can go. I did it right? Let's say you were everything I expected. Now go and write up the report. Not in crayon this time, please. That should keep him busy for a few days. He may be slow, but he's not an untrustworthy killer like you. Why the personal interest in this case, Vimes? I'm sure you've got more important things to do now you're commander of the Watch. My reasons are my own. You're not interested in my guilt or innocence. You're just out to nail me. Frankly, Luton, I've got all the evidence of your guilt I need, and if I get my way, they'll lock you up and melt down the key for scrap iron. You're a bad cop, and I don't have any time for you. If you're so convinced of my guilt, why the interrogation? Nobby has this deranged idea that there might be some extenuating circumstances that we ought to find out about. It'd make everything a lot easier if you'd confess, Luton. I'm sure you had a good reason to do what you did. Let us help you. Cigarette? Holiday for two in Quirm, see face in room, we pay the mini barbell? I'm not guilty and I'm not confessing to a crime I didn't commit. Listen to me, Luton. We're conducting this interrogation because I believe in upholding the law. There is no law in Ankh-Morpork. True enough, but there's my law. And there's the patrician's law. Which would you rather face? What's the difference? The Lord Veterinary considers it a happy state of affairs if the punishment can involve the actual perpetrator, but sees it as by no means essential. I consider it to be absolutely essential. But you've already decided that I'm guilty. That doesn't mean I've proved it. And if I prove my innocence? That's not going to happen. Then what's the point of this farce? Smoke? No. The thing is, Luton, we just want to find out what happened. Do one decent thing in your life, Luton. Help us close this case. Why should I? So we can close this sorry little act and concentrate on the threat to the city. The threat? The counterweight killings. Doesn't it make more sense that both Mundy and Malachite were killed by this so-called counterweight killer? That's what you'd like us to believe, isn't it? You make the murders look like the counterweight killings and hope to get away with it. That's it, isn't it? You're not interested in me. You want to catch the counterweight killer. You're just a low-life killer, Luton. My job is to protect citizens from people like you. What? You don't even like them much. You think they're all criminals. Maybe. But murder leaves the place too messy. Look, Luton, we don't think you're involved with the counterweight killings. But we have to know which ones are which if we're going to stop him from killing again. This is your chance to be a hero. To help us to catch a foreign assassin. A hero? There's nothing I can do to save myself. Why should I care about the rest of the city? You were a good man once, Luton. This could be your one shot at redemption. I was never that good a shot. You ought to know, Luton, that you're a suspect in the counterweight killings. That crowbar of yours was palace property, which means you had access to at least one of the murder sites. You're getting desperate, aren't you? We're wasting our time with you. What about Reagan? The dead dwarf? What about him? Another murder in suspicious, almost ritualistic circumstances. He's a nobody. But it has all the hallmarks of a counterweight killing. Are you confessing to the murder of Reagan? No. I'm just saying that Mundy and Malachite aren't the only nobodies to get bumped off in mysterious circumstances. There was nothing mysterious about Reagan's death. People don't just drive carriages off a bridge for no reason. He was driving recklessly across the city. It's probably just a suicide. Maybe he was just drunk. What about the bite marks? Bite marks? 
There weren't any bite marks. I looked. Reagan was murdered. I'm sure of it. You've got bigger problems than that right now, Luton. I suggest you concentrate on them.